What defines the essence of a conservative world leader? Today, we delve into the lives and ideologies of 10 prominent conservative leaders who have left indelible marks on the global political landscape. Most of these leaders are also considered populists. By this, we mean they tend to favor the rights of the individuals over the dictates of the state. They are anti-elitist and support the common man and woman. Economically, as populists, they abhor monopolies, concentrations of wealth and power, big government and big corporations, totalitarianism, crony capitalism, and tyranny. Six of these leaders currently serve as leaders of their respective countries. As you see from the map, these countries are dispersed around the globe. They range from tiny El Salvador in Central America to Europe and even to Asia. If we add an additional four leaders who are on the verge of gaining power, we see a world map that encompasses nearly every continent. You will notice there are no countries identified in Africa. However, we are hopeful a country like Rwanda, the self-proclaimed Switzerland of Africa, may soon join this group. So let's begin the countdown. Number one, Javier Millet, the Argentine gem, is an eminent economist who transitioned into the political arena to become a stalwart champion of the libertarian ideology. His beliefs strongly lean towards advocating for nominal government intervention within the economy. A shining feather in Millet's cap was his triumphant election into the Argentine Congress, which was significantly propelled by the surging waves of economic discontent fueled by inflation above 100%. Mille became president of Argentina in December 2023. Number two, venturing into Central America, we encounter Nayib Bukele, the leader of El Salvador. Recognized for his unique blend of progressivism and conservatism, Bukele has propelled digital revolutions, such as the groundbreaking introduction of Bitcoin as legal currency, a global first. In addition, he has lowered the crime rate in his country by incarcerating over 60,000 former gang members. As a result, El Salvador has gone from the world's most dangerous country to one of the safest. If you need more evidence, note that in his recent re-election, he garnered over 80% of the vote. Number 3. Viktor Orban, the torchbearer of Hungary's national sovereignty, is a stalwart defender of traditional values. Orban, an experienced past leader of Hungary, introduces a solid understanding of governance to politics, accentuating fiscal discipline and economic prosperity. He was elected prime minister in 2018 and was most recently interviewed by Tucker Carlson. He believes in legal, not illegal immigration. He is not a strong proponent of NATO's one-sided position in the Ukraine war. Number four. In New Zealand, Christopher Luxon emerges as a notable personality. The leader of the National Party, Luxon is recognized for his advocacy of traditional family values and his dedication to preserving New Zealand's societal norms. He became leader in November 2023 and replaces the progressive Jacinda Ardern, who strenuously enforced nationwide vaccine and mask mandates during COVID. Number 5. Giorgia Maloney, Italy's political firebrand, is a pillar of European nationalism. She advocates for national sovereignty, frequently locking horns with the European Union over issues such as migration. She has played a pivotal role in preserving Italy's cultural heritage and political autonomy. Melanie became prime minister in 2018, replacing the noted globalist and former central bank head, Mario Draghi. Number six, Geert Wilders, leader of the Party for Freedom in the Netherlands, is a significant figure in the anti-EU and anti-Euro movement. Wilders promotes stringent immigration policies and critical views towards immigrant assimilation, garnering substantial backing from regions feeling the strain of cultural change. He is savagely criticized as being anti-Muslim by the left, with little or no evidence. He is a strong supporter of Israel and is supported by the farmer citizen movement. Number 7. Pierre Poilievre of Canada, current leader of the Conservative Party, stands as a beacon for free market economic theories. Known for his vehement opposition to wasteful government expenditure, Poilievre is a crusader for tax reductions aimed at easing the burden on the middle class. He calls himself the common sense candidate, and as of March 2024, he was leading in the polls to unseat current Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Number 8. Jair Bolsonaro, the Brazilian president, hardly requires an introduction. His pro-business policies, traditional values, and focus on deregulation define his presidency. Despite controversies, 
Bolsonaro's impact on Brazilian conservatism is undeniably significant. He served as president from 2018 to 2022 and was upset by former socialist President Lulu in a questionable election in late 2022. Investigators have found anomalies in the election similar to the 2020 election in the United States. Number 9. France's leader Marine Le Pen, commonly referred to as the Joan of Arc of the modern era, is renowned for her steadfast nationalist principles and hardline stance on immigration. She heads the conservative National Front Party, which was founded by her father. Her dedication to preserving French culture and identity has earned her a substantial following among conservative French citizens. Le Pen is a strong Eurosceptic and differs with the European Union and her own government on issues of immigration. In the 2017 election, she finished second to Macron in the voting. Finally, number 10, Donald Trump from the United States, leader of the Republican Party, is a prominent figure in American conservatism. Trump advocates for American sovereignty and has revitalized the populist movement in America. In summary, these 10 leaders, each with their unique political ideologies and achievements, embody various facets of conservatism. Millet's libertarian economic views, Bukele's digital innovation, Luxon's fiscal responsibility, Melanie's cultural preservation, Orban's national sovereignty, Le Pen's border controls, Poiliev's free market advocacy, Trump's America First policy, Bolsonaro's traditional values and Wilder's stance on immigration and sovereignty all contribute to the rich tapestry of global conservatism. As we move forward, these leaders and their ideologies will continue to shape the world in profound and complex ways. But wait, there are even more leaders waiting in the wings. Take Poland's Jarosław Kaczynski, for example, who has been a staunch supporter of national identity and has resisted in-migration efforts from the European Union. Then there is England's Kami Badnok, an ardent libertarian and possibly in line to become next prime minister. Although not currently in power, these two leaders have already had an impact of their respective countries. Throughout the countries of the world, there appears to be a reawakening of populist ideas. After many years of failed progressive policies in North America, Europe, and Asia, people are hungering for fresh ideas, an end to socialism, and greater personal liberty. We'll see how far this goes in coming years.